so excited. I'm so excited. Oh my God. Okay, guys, I have been saving for a trip for two years. Some of you may already know what I'm talking about. I've been saving to go on a certain trip for a good couple of years now. I've been selling stuff that we own at home. I've been putting money aside every single month. If I've got any money left at the end of the month, I'm putting it away for this special trip. And at the end of last month, I booked it. I was so excited to go. Oh my god. Hi, my name is Rachel. I'm solo at Mem to One. I hope you are all well. Welcome to my channel. A couple of years ago, I watched a YouTube video by Adam Hatton. Most of you may know who he is, especially if you are a Disney fan. And I watched him go on a Disney cruise and I really, really wanted to take my son. That was two years ago. And from that moment, I have been saving really, really hard to go. And I saved enough money that I am going ah! so I am going on a Disney cruise in 2025 with my son it's just my son and I I saved up the deposit I paid a deposit I've actually saved up a little bit more than that but I'm going to go into that in a second anyway but in 2025 my son and I are gonna board a Disney cruise oh my god I'm so excited I literally can't wait okay so I'm gonna take a deep breath and I'm going to tell you all about it. So next year, on the 18th of August, the 22nd of August, 2025, my son and I are going to board the Disney Fantasy, and we are going on our very first Disney cruise. Now, I have been to Disneyland Paris before. I danced in Disneyland Paris, and I've been there as a holiday before as well. But this is the first time my son has gone to experience anything like this when it comes to Disney. I've never been on a cruise ship myself before, so this is all brand new to me, but I am super, super excited to go. Let me give you a few more details about what's going to happen and where we're going and the cost and everything else. I'm going to break it all down for you in this video. So as I said, we are going to board the Disney Fantasy on the 18th of August, the 22nd of August, 2025 from Southampton. So we're leaving from Southampton. My dad and his wife will be retired by that time. So they very kindly offered to take my son and I to Southampton. They are going to spend a couple of days in Southampton together exploring the areas and surrounding areas and then they're going to pick us up when we actually come off the ship on the Friday as well. So that is saving me a lot of money on hotels and parking because my dad and his wife have kindly offered to take us there. So really, really thankful for that one. When I told them about it a couple of weeks ago, they said, oh, we'll take you like it was nothing. I'm so grateful for them and I'm so thankful. I don't have to worry about parking or getting hotels or anything like that. I feel like I can take a big sigh of relief. So this cruise is a fortnight cruise. Uh, the first day we obviously get on the ship and we explore the ship and we have our sail away party. The second day is a day at sea. So I don't know what we're going to do, but I'll go into that in a little while as well. And the third day we actually dock at La Corona. I think that's how you say it in Spain. My son and I have decided not to go into Spain. We want to actually stay on the ship and we want to do all the things while everyone's kind of gone off. We are going to get off the ship just for the, the little area so we can take some photos with the actual Disney fantasy and kind of find our ground legs after being at sea for a couple of days. But we really kind of want to go back onto the ship and do all the water slides without it being overly busy. So we do get to do everything we want to do. Plus, this is costing me a lot of money, <laughs> so I want to take full advantage of the ship. Um, maybe if we do another one, we will go into Spain or go into France, wherever we may go next. But for now, we want to get off, take some photos of the ship and then get straight back on the ship and explore it where it's not going to be, hopefully, as busy as it would be any other day. The third day we are actually at sea again and then the last day is when we get off the ship. So that is what's going to be happening on our cruise ship. I'm not 100% sure but I think there might be a pirate's night on there as well which is going to be awesome. So it's my son and I get to dress up as pirates and there's fireworks and it's brilliant. Apparently it's on four night cruises but not necessarily on the three night cruises. I don't know how true that is but I'm going to do loads of research to find out anyway. So the nitty gritty. The cost of this. This was not a cheap holiday. This is a once in a lifetime holiday. Uh, my son and I had a good old chat about what we'd like to do in holidays and stuff. And I know he's still only small, but he's old enough to explain what he'd like to do. We want to go and explore as many of the Disney parks as we possibly can. So we decided to start with the Disney cruise this time. We're going to save again for a good couple of years and I'm going to try and take him to Paris, then save again 
to go to Florida and save again to go to California. And by the time we get to Florida and California, he's probably gonna be in his teenage years, so he's gonna be able to do all the rides and everything else. So this Disney cruise cost me 2,439 pound and 68 pence. I've paid my deposit, so all I've got left to pay now, which sounds like, oh, all I've got left, like I haven't got much, it's <laughs> still just under two grand, it's 1,981 pound and 24p. So as I said at the beginning, I saved really really hard for two whole years to pay the deposit not only have i been able to pay that deposit i've been able to save a little bit more now if i saved a couple of extra hundred pound between now and i'm hoping by the end of august i'll have the 981 pound 24p to pay which i will pay straight away to get that out the way then i've only got a thousand pound left to pay now every single year i put a thousand pound away from my son and i to go to butlins for the week so I've kind of in my head thought that's my usual holiday money. So the cruise is pretty much paid for, but I'm still going to be saving because I want to take some spending money on the cruise and I want to buy loads of stuff before I go on the cruise because you can buy magnets and everything else to go on your room door. And there's loads of other stuff that I never knew about that I have to kind of research in, which is going to cost me. So I'm still saving, but the total cost of the cruise was two. £2,439.68p and I've got £1,981.24p left to pay. Um, I can do it, it's fine, it's once in a lifetime and it's making memories. I haven't got just that money just to go and pay it, I will not put it on a credit card or anything like that. This has been through really hard work, hard graft, going without things and everything else so that I can afford to take my son on this once in a lifetime opportunity for us because we don't know if we're going to be able to afford to do it again if we want to go and do all the other things as well so that is our disney cruise i'm really really excited my plan to save the rest of the money is to carry on doing decluttering through the house and selling things it is to go really budget friendly on my groceries again i'm going to start looking at that again i don't feel like i've been making shopping lists properly so i'm really going to dial in on food budgeting and grocery hauls to make sure that i'm really budgeting my shopping so that i can put that money to one side for our cruise in 2025 and plus the weather's getting warmer so the car boots are going to be open again so i'm looking forward to going to the car boots and charity shops and i'm really going to dial in do i really need this so there might be a few videos coming up where i'm being really frugal and really budget friendly because i have something to say for to take my son on this cruise to make the most amazing memories and i just started to feel that life is way too short to think one day and i just thought no that one day is next year <laughs> so yeah so next year we are doing it and i will save hard again to go and take him wherever else that we want to go because i feel making memories with my child is so important because you never know when things are going to go wrong so what i'm going to be doing now is i'm going to be doing a lot of research on the disney fantasy that's the ship that we are going to be boarding is the Disney Fantasy. So if anybody here has been on the Disney Fantasy cruise ship, do let me know in the comment box below any tips that you may have. If you watch YouTube channels that go on Disney cruises, again, list them down below. I do follow Adam Hatton and I do follow, I think his name's Tim Tracker. I follow those two already. So anybody else that goes on Disney cruises, I follow a bunch of people that do Disney, like Disney in detail. I follow Brogan Tate, all of those who do a lot of Disney stuff anyway, but I want someone specifically for a Disney cruise so I can see what they kind of get up to. If you know anybody on YouTube that does Disney cruises with children, that would be really handy because I see a lot of people like Adam Hatton, he doesn't have any kids, so he doesn't do all the kids stuff. Um, I know Tim Tracker does, but if you know anybody that does Disney cruise videos on YouTube that has kids and you can list them in the comments box below. I'd really, really appreciate that. And the final thing I'm going to be doing is once a month, I am going to be making a video about my Disney cruise, things that I have learned about the Disney fantasy. Um, I know there's rotational dining. I'm going to be telling you everything I can about the Disney fantasy and everything there is to know about it by doing a ton of research. So if you love Disney, think about doing a Disney cruise, want to know more information, then do hit that like and subscribe button so that you can keep up to date with these videos. I I was going to do it once a month but if you'd like it more than once a month then do let me know and I will do more of them because I'm super excited so 
that is my trip announcement for 2025. This year we are still going to Butlins and then next year we are going on that Disney cruise. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Any tips or anything else you'd like to put in the comment box below, then please do. I can't wait to share this journey with you. I can't wait to do my research and then actually board the ship. How exciting is that? And obviously guys, I'm gonna video it. I mean, I can't not go on a cruise without videoing it for you. So don't forget to hit that subscribe drop me any comments below if you've liked this video do give me a thumbs up if you are new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not new here but yet to subscribe then please do you don't want to miss it and if you ha have subscribed you've liked you commented you shared anything else thank you so much for your continued support i'm so excited for this it's going to be absolutely amazing it's over a year in the making but oh my god i know that in, it's going to be here before you know it so yeah so i'm going to try and calm down have a tea relax and get going with my research so thank you so much for watching i hope whenever you're watching this you are having a good morning good day or good evening and i will see you on the next one bye guys